Greetings everyone, and great here for another Comfy Rose 1 replay. Spot on the bottom or left side as the US forces, we have Droppy. Spot on the left side as the British forces, we have Loki Tanuki. Spot on the right side as the Panzer Elite player, we have K4 Frost. I have no idea how to pronounce that if it's a one word. And spawns the other Panzer Elite player, we have Dolph. Uh, already accusing somebody from dropping or leaving, not so sure. And the grads push away forward. We've got these Panzer Grenadiers push away forward. Likely we're going to just see more Panzer Grenadiers for the Panzer Elite player. Pretty common opener, just go straight Panzer Grenadiers. Unlikely we're going to see extra cutting grads in 2v2. Just the one, or no, we've got two engineers for this US player going for a barracks. Over our British forces, it looks like we got a second entry section into the pack up. Let's see, which sector would you I deploy up? The fuel sector would be tempting. Either of these fuel points would probably be tempting. I'm not sure which one's a higher yield, honestly. We go for this fuel point up here as well. Catch that munitions point there. Hans Grinder is eyeing for this fuel point, but it's not currently captured on up. And he sets up on the munitions point there. The reason why I think fuel point early on is because I tend to like to uh, bring out vehicles. At least in a couple years too. Munitions sector now being captured up by the engineers. Yes, Riflemen advancing on forward, trying to eye for these sectors. And the munitions sector is now captured up and going for a bit of tank traps there. Perhaps trying to deny the movement of the Kettengrad. Rifleman squad. I engage the Panzer Grandiers. The G43 squad does ban the garrison. He needs to make his way over. Perhaps maybe this little bit heavy cover there. I never really have to see them next to each other. I always try to separate them because I'm always afraid of a grenade. And it's too early for a grenade. Also too early for a flamethrower. Kettengrad trying to knock these forces out of heavy cover. At least knock them around to prevent them from shooting all too well. Engineers get some good and eh, not a whole lot of damage from the Kettengrad and the uh, engineer squad is fall back so it doesn't work come in. Got the second squad of Pants or second players work for Panzer Grenadiers on the Savate support as well. This US player needs to cool off the moment. He's getting two beat one. The single rifle squad needs to fall back now. This is not a fight can win. There's six Panzer Grenadiers here. The one's inside a garrison with no windows on the side. I don't think there's a window down below. If there was, I don't think it shoot out of it. Yep, no window down below. Left hand of capturing up that sector. We do have this rifleman squad of cap not rifleman. Infrastructure capturing up the uh EP. And all these Panzer Grenadiers are far too close to each other. One player can capture these points while the other player can push out. Maybe this red player can capture those points while the orange could push forward with his three squads. Right now they're not splitting up all too well. They're just sticking together way too much. Engineer ready and waiting. Engineers decapturing this fuel point. We've got an, this rifle squad now pushed down south. Listen up, people. Jet got this infantry section pushed way forward. No left hand support them. There may be a scope rifle being researched onto it. No, it's not. Got these two rifle squads and a flame engineer. You may want to stick a bit more towards the heavy cover. There's a lot of squads here. Flame engineers and they start cleaning out the garrison. And the infantry squad does fall back. Kind of stuck around a little bit long as far as teammate. Rifle squad, the low five. Oh, there's a Prince grenade there. Falls back with the higher health rifle squad there. It does fall back the lower health one. Very nice. And now you've got a forward HQ there by the Panzer Elite player. And this point is decaptured, and the British HQ is right here. So if it redeploys up here, it will maintain supply for these sectors. But right now, the, rifle, the US player is just seeing a bit of a beating. We're seeing too many 1v1 engagements. We're not gonna burn a squad here with a lieutenant in tow. With this many Panzer squads, he needs to fall back almost immediately. Two intersections by them working together will cannot defeat all these Panzer Grenadiers, plus the two G43s. They can, both those players can suppress individual squads to basically instantly win the fight. It's a grenade is thrown, gets a good hit there onto the friend squad. Scope of squad does get sinned a bit as well. And pushing forward this direction is actually a relatively good idea. It allows them to focus one squad, one player's worth of units, while these other Panzer Grenadiers are on the other side of the house. 
It does fall back nice and early. They complain about he leaves, now they ask him to leave. Supply lines they could be mine. Have a territory cut off from supply. Plus, why have why ask people to leave? You won't have a good game, right? A easy win's not a good uh, it's not a fun win. Section ready. Ready to copy orders. Other infantry section squads not be upgraded. Friends, very nice. Heavy eyeing for more heavy infantry play. The US players doing a good job Germans of recapturing the southern sectors. See, it's hard to see in the minimap, but both these guys are back at home with all the Pentagram Deers, so this allows the Allies to quickly recapture the map. Yeah, four Pentagram Deers here and three Pentagram Deers here. Ed and Greg are doing a good job capturing the map as well. And this, HQ, and this building is still captured up. The 4HQ has not been cleared out just yet or decaptured. Rifleman and each sections are now both hitting this Pentagram Deer. This Pentagram Deer squad will need to fall back sooner rather than later. He's going to get down to the scope rifle squad. And now the flaming shares push him forward. And now I'm it's a little bit too late to decapture the 4HQ uh, right now with these three Pentagram Deers nearby. I do have two lieutenants in this region. That should provide some good support there. Flame engineers force fire on the ground. Very nice, but that's a Steven Cindy grenade as well. Fight fire with fire. Engineer squads not properly retreating. We're seeing private damage that could get wiped out. And will get wiped out. There is cut forward supply lines. Scope rifle squad, Bren squad, both getting some damage up here, but the four came on this HQ. They can withstand a bit of beating. At this point in time, Maybe Royal Artillery would be best bring in some officer artillery. Both of the squads are now falling back. Sappers have been support, but they can't really push them by themselves. If you're getting outnumbered like this, don't send units one-on-one. -on -one. They will just get led off quickly and get squatted individually. Okay, some heavy cover like this is a good idea. Flame engineers are advancing forward. Now we've got a bit of fire coming on these intersections for our pentagram deers. Engineer squad won't need to fall back. They'll just fall back nice and early. Another flame engineers once again streaming one at a time. You've got to get... If you're fighting against a large group of units like this, you can't be streaming stuff one by one. We're gonna get this repaired on up. We do got a Panzer Shrek equipped on one of these squads as well. This player is going for Tree Grouse Center, very nice. As Grady has captured the southern side of the map. Right now, you can see, hard to tell who has better field of control. It looks like I think the Axis players have overall better field of control. Two sections of Nathan Ford. Do you have the field support truck going for a captain now? And maybe a good idea to go for a steward. So canister rounds will be very deadly in these situations. See grenade was thrown, range a little bit short, but does uh, singe these forces behind that cover as they dance around into the fire as well. Ooh, good hit there by the pan trick as well. This intersection may want to fall back, fall back to his teammates' uh, Trios Center more precisely. At Trios Center. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm drawing blanks. Got a lot of Pentagram Deers here. A single mortar wouldn't be half bad. Now the Brit is at two command points. and bring in some extra assets that could be very useful. The infantry support truck in this region. The captain's also here as well. Flame Engineers at base 4. We've got multiple Flame Engineers trying to burn all these guys alive. Very nice. And right now he's out of uh, range. Friend squad space support with the captain. This area has now an approved Captain Horror effect there, so the Captain just needs to stay back here and help out these intersections from a nice safe distance. Got two left tennis this region as well, able to these guys some great fire support. Flame engineers advancing forward. Intersections are advancing forward. Flame engineers are making it forward. They're sticking behind the cover there. That's who's suppressing fire on one of them. Flame engineers are still burning this group alive. We do got the city grenade there. Those are shooting back early. See if too much damage before being focused down. Now the intersection are falling back. You may want to get these other forces back a little bit as well. 
Let's see, the British HQ is still right here. We do have a casualty clearing station. We've gotten some casualties there, very nice. He is using the forward healing there. He may want to take time to build all some slip trenches as a defensive position. You can put the captain back here as well inside a slip trench to provide aura effect. Those need to scope back the squad. Other brand squads on the base in the four. More cash being claimed. Another cash be. And there's five out of six. Play machine is a main support, does get one suppressed there. Cash machine is seeing quite a bit of damage to them, have four drawn from the region. Red squads are starting to get reinforced. And without the medic charging forward, trying to get an engineer, that would be casualty number six to get a free entry section. Stuart now pull on the field that can help really punish these large group of Panzer Grenadiers. Rifleman squads capture the flags. This one I'm very open. wounded. And they've got STG squad now engaging close range. That rifle squad may be fully wiped out. Those rifle squad inside this garrison. Not a lot of good windows here. And those surround from multiple angles that even then not all of them are firing. Rifle squads face forward. One of them's a little bit wounded, maybe need to fall back. Both these left tents have good amount of pressure to see. Stuart now advancing forward. Pantrick just fired a shot there. Fine's going to hit down the Pantrick squad. There's another Pantrick squad over here inside the garrison. Fine's a hit there onto the Stuart. It's a full back. Fires a shot there. One shot away from death. He also could perhaps stand a for a repair sapper as well. And Rifle Squad, well, how does Russian come down right there? Was there, did a US player go for strafing runs? Yes, we do see strafing runs. Trying to hit these blobs with the strafing runs. These folks from the Rifle Squads will also hit as well. These Rifle Squads need to fall back, we're seeing a bit too much fire there. Let's fall back early. Play Mirrors of Base at 4, intersections also advanced, and now this HQ can be decaptured. Looks like you may have thrown a cinder grenade inside the garrison. Losing ground out there. Another cinder grenade thrown, trying to hit these flamer engineers. Stuart still severely wounded, but it's keeping a nice, safe, very close to front line, which is not that safe. And also, the engineers will decapture the Ford HQ. Right from the squad advance the Ford, just like Kettengrad down here. Looks like it's already a dead Kettengrad. And we do have light AT half track there, as well as another Ketten Grad there. So this may even one orange is dead Ketten Grads. We are losing a sector. Let's see now. US player does have one command point available, has straight run available. He may he asks his teammate to get, deploy more on mission sectors. The British player has three command points. Hasn't selected the officers yet. I believe that's enough command points for Churchill AVRE. Which could be useful on this map. Panzer Elite player number one has nearly five command points. S Pan Support Command. Do we see Panzer Force C? Rifleman squads of Panzer Force, a good number of them. Trying to overwhelm these STG squads. He could pass down Colossus' company in order to get out four man squads. That would greatly benefit the STG squads as well as the, all the other squads. And his other teammate has a massive reserve of manpower. He's going straight for Panthers. Panther support command being upgraded. Not sure if he has enough of the other resources available to get out the Panther activation. Got these first forces pushed away up north, starting to split up his forces. Panzer Grenadiers makes more than five squads of Panzer Grenadiers here. And was that 17 pounder? Do you guys 17 pounder on the high ground? A very defensive 17 pounder, to say the least. And the PS4 is seeing quite a bit of damage right there. Kept advancing on forward. Oh, fires a cancer around there. Didn't get a massive hit. This good hit. Kept now seeing quite a bit of fire there. Steward advancing on forward. Needs to maintain distance. There's two cancers in this area. Does get a mobilized crit there. Does take out the light he track with the 17 pounder. And now the steward is going to see quite a bit of abuse there. He may want to get another cancer around as soon as possible. While it's still on cooldown. Down to 300 points. And you got a straight run right there that hit. Who was trying to hit those Panzer Grenadiers, forcing them back, saving the Stuart. Flame Grenadiers do get suppressed there. Rifle Squad also quite wounded. Panzer Grenadiers still in this region. And starting to decapture the sectors now. 
And Grenade is behind some heavy cover there, so is the Rifleman. Cat and Grad eyeing to capture this munitions sector. And we've got a frag grenade there. It does force him out of cover, so he sees quite a bit of damage there. Throws in Cine Grenade in turn. He does get a good hit there as well. Now the Panzer Grenadier squad does fall back. What type of flare that is? Oh, Airborne. Lieutenant capture that point. We could perhaps see some observation posts helping prove munitions income. German forces are trying to secure one Both of Both allies sectors. go for more munition-based builds. That could be really helpful. So maybe Jerry's more artillery for all the munitions-based builds, abilities you can get from that. Rifle squad likely wiped out. There's two SDG squads there. Yeah, you're dead. Got three Bren squads up here. After one of our munitions. Bren's are behind some good heavy cover. There's only one lieutenant in this region. He still he has both lieutenants alive. Other lieutenants moving in this region. Now we've got two uh, star left uh, intersections here. We does receive a nice city grenade there. It sort of stands there for a little bit too long. The squad does also get burned alive a little bit. And one of the Pennsylvania squads flinches on four. We're going to see massive fire there. Another city grenade is thrown. Was on most of the lieutenant, and now we've got more command yeah, points being deployed now. Left, now he's up to through seven command points. That's enough for a Churchill crocodile, isn't it? Good to Oof, go. that one's getting burned up quite a bit. And he only has enough manpower for a Churchill crocodile. You now have bar research, rifleman and airborne squad advancing on forward. Losing a and now do you have the armor command truck as well. A ahead, I just saw a bit of fuel being consumed by the... By the, uh, what's it called? The British player, I'm not sure where that went. So we just found a shot there at the Kettigrad. The machine guns could finish it off. And looks like he does manage to escape out of there. We got a lot of Bren squads here, also wounded. Kettigrad will escape out of there, will not get gunned down. Or will get gunned down by Stewart. He does get an overheal there, he does have no repair center. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. was there a full squad wipe there? Oh, that was a lot of damage. I will probably be tempted to keep us, uh, let the Stewart uh, fire another shot into that group. And there goes the kind of grad. Rifleman squads overrunning. Looks at like those Panzer Grenadier's final yeah, landmine there. Does Let's get forced the back. Like to employ creeping barrels. And now he has access to the priests. I do. If your if the U.S. player deploys some munitions caches and he pulls out his HQ command trucks on more munition sectors, you can bring in a lot of artillery. We do now have two Panthers on the field from this Panzer Grenadier player. Black Irving still trying to shot down the flame engineer. Uh, I guess they didn't get any flame bursts off there. There's a bunch of windows there. Flame engineer is now trying to five our defensive spot there. Gets great damage on these forces. One of the STG squads may get wiped out. Because it does not get wiped out there. And does take out one of the Flak 88s. Over here, Pandas advancing forward. One of them both are punted by the. Uh, Brins, very, very nice, which will solve them out. He doesn't have any real... He has two squads to engage with. And 17 pounder now rotating around. The M118 gun from his teammates on advance forward. He can use the steward to body block these guys. That may be a good idea. Let the steward die to poor panda. I say that's a good trade. M118 gun does get a good kill there. That's a good hit there as well. Rear armor hit. M118 gun does slow him down a little bit. Pete's to connect. Stewart could actually get the kill. Stewart gets the kill. Pants around. Rolls misses out with some grenades. They may look. Oh, those kinds of grenades getting ripped apart as well. 
handles are not invulnerable, it can even be killed by steward tanks with a low place shot to the rear armor. These, hand, these rifle uh, intersections may want to fall back, they're pretty wounded. I would be hesitant to push them way forward. They're expensive to maintain. Let's see, a grenade does connect. It does force back the rifle squad. It may get wiped out by the STGs. Will get wiped out by the STG. Or wait. Yep. Only wiped out. I thought one of those members was the last squad member. Airborne squad not received fire. He does with the four man squad research. And a lot of SMGs. Those are frag grenade before tree back. Gets a decent hit there. Severely wounding them. Ooh, and now we've got a priest barrage. Yes, Order's priest barrage. Mobile artillery has reached its RV point. Let's see now. Yes, player has a good amount of resources. Enough for a strafing run. Plenty of fuel. Supply yard has level one production. Let's see. As lead player one has gone for tank hunter. Oh, let's see what auction T's gone for. Doesn't have a whole lot of resources. Small manpower, plenty of fuel for the rest of the game. This is the one that went for those panthers that died so quickly. Or maybe it was this. No, it was this guy. And he is not here to select a doctrine at the moment. This four first will probably be the best uh, doctrine at this moment, since his teammate has not gone for Scorcher. In section here, Will Man's withdraws, Lieutenant falls back as well. Got two friend squads here. He's trying to focus down, does take out the STG squad. Lieutenant now receiving a bit of fire there. Got double panic check researched, uh, doctrinal research there. That may reveal what doctrine he's gone for. Don't think there's any indication of what doctrine he's gone for yet. And down south for the flame engineers, force back some STG squads. And grenade was thrown there. Oh, that blew up some guys. That was definitely from the airborne squad. And now this flame engineer needs to fall back. Those who have drawn the Panzer Grenadiers, all the flamers need to fall back. They're all down to one member. Or this guy that just rolled on up. You're gonna take time, however, use that the one man squad to be captured the point. Infantry section ready. Man might now be employed on out. Do not have a priest or 25 pound of barrage ready on somewhere. Somewhere over here trying to hit that Ketan Grad. Does get some good hits there and wipes him out. Does suppress the flame engineer there. Very nice. Goes and see a grenade on the other one. There is a U.S. landmine there. There was a U.S. landmine there. We are losing and now we got these kinds of good news advance forward. Receives a nice shot there from the steward. Armor command truck was supposed to boil out something. Those receiving private fire there going for a stack out. Mainly you see a canister around there. Canister round does connect, forcing back to the Panzer squads. There was a aircraft of some sort. It may have been just a recon run. Rifleman squad getting overwhelmed inside the garrison. These flame engineers getting some good hits on the STG squad. We've got two airborne squads in the region as well. Rifleman squad needs to fall back and does get out of the garrison there. Flame engineers before we trying to get some first there onto the Panzer Grenadiers. Say grenade thrown. We do have this engineer squad seeing quite a bit of damage. Let's fall back now. And that's draw a frag grenade there. It's a good hit. Hurt blew himself up a little bit there. STG squad's pulling back on a fresh STG squad now. These airborne squads need to fall back. See if they too much fire. Trying to keep them reinforced in the front line. Goes our frag grenade there, and now the STG squad does fall back. And since he didn't retreat them back, he will receive uh, forward reinforcements. Allies now have a triple capture in the favor, but they have a pretty large amount of ticket disparity between the two players or two teams. You now have a stack on deployed on the field, going for a Shurn Firefly, and maybe worried about. Uh, additional Panthers, which against two Panzer League players is actually quite reasonable. But let's just want to lose the Armor Command Truck at the current rate. 
Does US player have enough munitions to call an air strafe and run? No, he does not. This point, some uh, supply drops. Cancer round did not do a lot of damage that time around. Get squad trying to repair up the sapper now. And the armor commander does get destroyed before the firefly comes out. So the third left hand is now pulled out on the field. That's going to use advanced forward to suppress and pin down the flame, one of the flame engineers. The two are trying to burn away that STG squad. Got triple defense on these forces. And one AT gun has Vector C2. That was the most one that killed off one of the Panthers. And we'll get overran. Casualties being reported. Reese now firing a barrage. We have a secured sector under attack. And this is firing a barrage in this general area, trying to destroy the HQ or perhaps any retreating squads. We got a mission for a sector here upgraded, but it's not in supply at the moment. Here, rifleman squads engaging. Let's just try to hit the captured M1 AT gun. Well, the Allies are not really pulling out a lot of armor. We've got a steward and stag council. Losing AT guns on a massive problem, just a small problem. Supply yard has not been upgraded just yet. That's what's back for an STG squad there. You may need to see a frag grenade there from the airborne coming to It's going to be a hit there. It's a grenade throw on the rifleman and onto the flame engineers. As many as now enter the flames themselves, we're seeing a bit of damage there. Flame engineers advance at four. And more flame engineers advance at four as well. That and squad so we will need to fall back a little bit shorter. Seems to be too much damage there. It may get wiped out by the flame engineers. Airborne squad does force back some of these other squads now. Up to Vegetal C2. Now, if you've got the Pantrex of Ansa 4, got the triple Vegetal C, triple Bren squad. Synchronate so walls are pretty precise in this there. Close another synchronate on the same squad. It's going to be a little bit. And looks like our killer was running on in, picking up one of those units. Find a great hit there as well. And these intersections need to stay out of the fire. Moral land mines have been put on the field. Observation post has been saved, not being repaired on up, so needs a sector captured. And there's a landmine here, of course. They splashed on the engineer squad. Got the point, sorry. Point taken. Easy as baking a cake, huh boys? Artillery raining on in, trying to hit any retreating back squad. The enemy is down to 300 points. Flame engineers and riflemen and airborne squads trying to hit these SPGs. Frag grenade throw. Gets a decent hit there. Now the Panzer Rangers are falling on back. Instructions pushing away down south. Does not really need a moment. Finds that landmine, doesn't wipe out the squad. More supply drops being brought on in. Enemy unit down. Does take out the Captain 180 gun. We may see a Cindy grenade. Pretty front does connect, saving. Rails, uh, SG squads, paint squad. Not really saving. Just minimize the damage they took in turn. But now, do have these pen grenades push forward? Does see a pair of Cindy grenades there? Does retreat back? He may lose his lieutenant in the retreat. Oh, there's a Humo barrage, I believe. The lieutenant should go down. He's not targeting it properly. He's running out in. And he does save the lieutenant there. Got a pair of British landmines there and one there. Fumo on our opponent field, so he has selected Scorched Earth. Rifleman and Airborne Squad in a good defensive position there. Flame Machine is about ready to fire as well. Goes in City Grenade there onto the Flame Machine. They don't really care about keeping missions now, huh? They've been throwing out a lot of City Grenades. And these kind of grenade squads will force fall back. Gonna grab a capture on the northern flank. The VP is about ready to be the same amount. Let's take a look at resources at the moment. Do you got a straight run being pulled on out? Right there. It's pressing and pinning. That did consider the rest of his uh, munitions. He does have good manpower. 
as well as fuel and reserve. No level 2 spy yard, he probably could have gotten that by now. He has enough resources for it, by far. The British player has plenty of munitions, plenty, and just called another priest. So now he's up to 3 priests and 25 counter. There's a lot of artillery he can call him in. And he has better munitions there for Creep of Era. And he's got a free intersection as well. Flame engineers trying to advantage on these STG, STG squads. Let's force back one of them. Flame engineer does get inside this garrison. There is a window on that side, as well as a hole. That's going to see quite a bit of fire right there. Just need to maintain maximum range away from that flamer. This looks like going straight for the VP. We do have a machine gun placement between Florida Mount. Axis player number one, or Pesley player number one, has some small amount of manpower reserve. Reasonably no munitions. And plenty of fuel probably for the rest of the game, obviously. His teammate, however, has the same amount of manpower, even less munitions, and probably plenty of fuel for the rest of the game. He just have four Asgrandeers and a Hummel. This category is almost down. Infrastructure is moving around on the blob. Now, do got the Overwatch barrage raining on in, as well as Sprint being pulled out by these Panzergrandeers. I to rush down something. Cancer round. See if it hit there. Cancer round does connect, wiping out one of those squads, the wounded one. And the overheal does save the steward mostly. Hunter, we can now booby trap strategic points. So now we see the booby trap ability. Airborne squads firing it up. One of them just got off exhausted. SG squads paint some forward. Throws a frag grenade there. Minor damage. Flame first three gains some hits there. Throws another frag grenade there. And also these STG squads just not making up headway. Does didn't just fight the rifle squad there? So yeah, the rifle squad just got Oh no, the rifle squad is Wait, where's that last model? Oh. For the homeland. the other models are way down fire. here apparently. squad now engaged in close range. Frag grenade connects with his own forces. Ooh, that was more friendly fire. But may wipe out the Pentagon Deer in turn. The enemy is attempting to seize a fuel point from us. Nope, he does not wipe the uh, Pentagon Deer, but may see artillery in the street path. And we do see artillery in the street path. Uh, it may just subside it. Or, nope, oh, annihilated. Let's keep the US player select. This is a lot of abilities. So what he can do is get more volatile with all the aircraft. Character yeah, sneaks some damage on in, does throw a grenade or a senior grenade. And that squad was fired up, so now they're exhausted. Flames are just now pushing forward. Not only will draw fire for the airborne, but also get some good damage on in. But I get back in the garrison. Let us know if you can support. Does find a 30 cal placement once again. It does fall back. Enemy unit down. Looks like one of the Panzer League players has cast in GG. I got a bad feeling about this song. The, the enemy has 100 points. And now the PS squad does fall back there. Reporting construction complete. Got a pair of frag grenades there. He's been really using that munitions quite a bit, hasn't he? And it's just G squad really wiped Charlie out, and one of the Pesley players have backed out of the game now. So I'm going to fast forward for the rest of the time frame because if one player backed out, the game is pretty much over. This, this is the player that's still in the game. You can see his Pesley players moving around. Principal to send a map, got a triple capture against the Pesley player, so that's is down to it's either A, he's going back on the game, or B, he's going to let the itch time out. And that is the end of the replay. This is Angrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.